this this is not war zone uh, it, so you got to get that out of your head it's not it's not war zone dmz is not war zone it's totally different um nothing i mean it's the same map as war zone but it's totally different the the whole premise of the game is different It's fun and it's much slower paced and it's yeah um, and what I do is over here is I just turn uh, squad fill off because normally it's uh, trios uh, so everybody else comes in there with three people on their team um, and I will be going in just by myself because I got no friends I'm lonely. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been dropping in bare fisted, like no, no weapon, just, just like this. So I drop in, I get the free one, you know, tactical one lethal and then a field upgrade. Okay. Anyway, my whole idea is I want to go in, try and loot a couple of weapons or, you know, get some cash. The cash isn't so much. Uh, I also have been trying to do these missions. You know, like uh, extract some thumb drives, extract some hard drives. You know, if I can get one or two, that's cool. A little bit of cash, you know, whatever. The whole idea is try to survive, extract, uh, build up a little bit of guns so that I can go in with a gun and then maybe do a little bit better. Because they have this feature here now that's called um, proximity chat. Um, where you can hear people around you as they're chatting even if they're it's only their own you know they're, they think they're just talking to their teammates or whatever but you can hear them um so it can get kind of goofy but it could also be like a way of like telling you that people are around so it's it is in beta and everything is legit designed for three people squads so and squads can actually assimilate. So your squad can be in there and because of that proximity chat, you could be like, hey, other squad, do you wanna assimilate with us? And then you can like have two squads actually squad up to make a six person squad. Uh, so it can get kind of tricky. So this is the stuff that you can go into uh, the game with, right? For anybody that's not familiar, okay? Um, the stuff up at the top where it says armor carrier, okay? Uh, that's your plate carrier. It could have one plate, two plate, or three plates. Uh, default is one. Uh, in the game, you can find uh, a two plate carrier or a three plate carrier. Uh, you can get a gas mask. You can find that or buy one. Uh, you can get a kill streak or self revive. Um, you got a backpack. The default is small. Uh, in the game, you can buy or find a medium or large backpack, so it has more slots. Um, and then you, whatever armor carrier or backpack you had on you when the last time you extracted, that's all you have. Right, so if it was a small back or a small backpack, or if you died, right, that you get the default. That's it. Um, if you extracted and you had a, a larger backpack or a larger plate carrier, then that's what you'll start with the next time you go in. But if you die, then you get the default. Uh, and then there's keys. The you know you have a key stash, or you can uh, find keys uh, in in the match to unlock lock spaces. Um, and then you've got your loadout here. And then for your loadout, right? Uh, you can attack, attach a tactical, lethal, or and a field upgrade. Those are always free to uh, to go in with. Um, but your weapon loadout, right? You start with this stuff, right? You have an insured slot and this one here is like your regular weapons from like MP multiplayer 
Um, now it's insured, which means that if you die, uh, you don't actually lose it, but you lose access to it. You can't use it for like an hour and a half or two hours or something like that. Right. So that slot is gone. You can't, you can't use that or that weapon, uh, for a while if you die with it. Uh, and then you've got these contraband weapons, and these are weapons that you extract with, uh, that you find in the zone, okay? Uh, off of AI or bosses or, you know, ground loot, whatever, okay? So these are weapons that you just find, and but you have to extract with them to have them available here, okay? Um... And then you've got these missions, faction mis missions. Um, it starts with Legion. Uh, once you do a certain number of Legion factions, then it'll open up and you can do these White Lotus missions. Um, and it'll reward you with more ca contraband weapons, XP, or actual blueprint weapons that you can actually use anywhere in the game in Warzone or multiplayer or whatever, right? Um, and other, you know, uh, other things that you can get also. You can get uh, character skins, whatever. Um, but it, it will eventually also open up Black Mouse, which is another faction. So there's a lot of grinding to do these missions, right? So... Um, that also will open up two more, uh, potentially two more insured weapon slots. So those are weapons that you can make, uh, to go in there with that you don't actually lose. Right. Um, but these contraband weapons, if you die, right. And you don't extract or you don't extract, uh, then you lose them. They're gone. So... Um, and then the extraction points obviously can be contested, uh, you know, uh, so you have to watch out for AI. The AI on here are actually pretty brutal. Uh, they actually know how to shoot. Um, other players, obviously you have to watch out for them because they can kill you and take your, sh your, your stuff. Um, so you got to watch out for them too. Uh, but it's not like Warzone where the whole idea is that you're just player versus player and the last one standing wins. That's not it at all. The idea is, is you're trying to get in there and do these faction, you know, missions. And there's also other, other things that you can do, uh, once you're in, uh, you, you can do, uh, contracts once you're in there uh, as well uh, to get money or whatever uh, if you extract with items or money that are not weapons uh, those will get converted into cash which will then uh, give you XP and reduce the amount of time left on whatever uh, weapon you might have locked behind uh, uh, your, your insured weapon timer so it's real complicated, but at the same time, once you've done it a few times, you kind of get to know how it works. And then there's like um, strongholds. Uh, the strongholds around the map are, you know, these locked buildings that have even tougher AI inside of them and around them that are even harder to, 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 to get through. It's, it's pretty tricky. Just getting around the map can be tricky. You have to uh, make make it to an exfil in a certain amount of time because then radiation comes and will kill you. I right, see this big building in front of me right now with the flags. That's a big... Um... It's a big airport. This right here is a buy station. You can sell stuff that you find for cash. Uh, you can buy a bigger backpack, you can buy keys. Um, that is a, a UAV tower. You can uh, 
take control of it and it'll put a UAV up so you can see things around you, but it also notifies every other player on the map that you've done that. So they know that you're in the area. Um, these are some contracts that you can pick up. This is a stronghold. Um, so this is a SAM site. So there's this, uh, you can take control of the SAM, shoot down a plane, which drops uh, uh, supplies, gas stations for uh, repairing and refilling the gas in the cars because the cars run out of gas and they get, they get damaged. That right there is a limited case. He's like a big boss and he has a case. Uh, you have to kill him. And if you exfil with the case, you get a certain in-game item. That's radiation. There's a, that's the only way right now that you can get a certain gun in the game. There's a boss that you have to kill and then extract with that weapon.